Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is January 31st, bringing you your morning coffee. Uh, we've got actually very quiet trade out here. Corn, beans, wheat, light volume overnight. There's, a not, there's not a lot of news out there. Uh, but let's take beans, for instance. We've got very choppy trade. Uh, we've seen lower move this week. We've seen the market try to find strength. I think the primary focus that we've got to continue to, uh, to, to keep at the forefront here on beans is that what was bullish at one point with the lack of rain, Argentina, we had areas that were of concern, stress. Uh, now you've got rain in the 1 to 5 day forecast, rain in the 6 to 10, and rain in the 11 to 15. Things have changed. So rallies are probably going uh, to still uh, find some weakness. You guys are going to be selling on rallies. But still, we do have good demand. Talks of China coming in, canceling tenders of beans. We've seen some of that, but we still have had some decent export sales, and we still are selling them. So you're going to find support here on breaks. So I feel that we're going to see beans uh, just kind of continue to make this choppy move. Um, Brazil now starting to talk certain areas, maybe stress there, but there are calling for lighter rains uh, over the next few weeks. So I think the whole weather issue down in Argentina starting to becoming more of a back burner. So the primary focus is going to be, are we going to find demand? And this talk of potentially switching some old crop beans from the U.S. down to South America. So continue looking for that here next week. There's probably going to be more chatter of that in the coming weeks. Uh, as far as corn, corn's down a penny today, and uh, we've seen some good demand. Export sales yesterday, very strong for corn. So I think that kind of surprised people. That gave us that bounce yesterday. But now that that story is kind of out of the way, we need some more news to continue feeding the bulls. So I think what we could end up seeing is that if we do get more producers selling here over the next few days, uh, that may end up finding corn to the lower end of that range once again. But I don't see any real reasons to really surge through resistance or really break below support right now. Uh, and that's why I think you're seeing some very light trade overnight. Guys are waiting, kind of wait and see type attitude uh, on what kind of information, what kind of news is going to be thrown out here next. Uh, as far as livestock, cattle down 10 cents. Uh, we had cash trade Monday, 146, uh, but no trade since then. So we've not seen anything else here. But the bigger story there, box beef. Uh, we have seen prices that were down again, another dollar yesterday. Uh, we had seen this big run right with cattle prices. Now box beef has shifted uh, and has given back uh, quite a bit here this week. And so that's why we've seen, uh, we've seen cattle prices continue to, to break off of these highs that we had. Uh, but we'll watch that cash trade. That may give us a little support. If we can keep some stronger trade uh, this week, uh, we'll see what, that, uh, what happens here later on today. As far as hogs, a little different story. Now we are seeing a little bit of an upturn uh, as far as the cash market. But overall, if you're looking at this February contract, it hasn't moved a lot. This entire week, it is actually down only 2.5 cents. So it's not moved a lot. That's because it is, it's at such a, a premium to that cash market that either you've got to get the cash market to come up to it or it's going to break down to the cash market. So we're not seeing a lot of movement out of that. Um, but the back months are catching a bid. Uh, we have seen some strength. Anything past the February, the Aprils, the Junes, uh, and on out, mostly because the the idea of PED. Uh, there is still that looming uh, talk of PED. It is an issue out there. The question is, are we going to see USDA finally recognize it, and are we going to get uh, some kind of support uh, from that? Well, we are putting that into the market now, so be careful. Once we start to recognize it, it might be a buy the rumor, sell the fact. But as of right now, we are finding some strength here in these back months. As far as some of the outside markets today, stock market down 164 right now. We're breaking back. Uh, we gained, we tried to rally yesterday up about 35 cents, but for the week we're down 264 points. Continuing to see this pullback as far as uh, the economic front, that's giving some support to gold today and silver. Gold up 10 bucks, silver up 32 cents, um, and the dollar. The dollar right now up 10 cents. That has gained 74 cents this week so far. Very strong move uh, once again for the dollar. Uh, I do want to thank everybody that was 
able to to log on and, and watch our webinars uh, our webinar series that we just put out very successful event for us and uh, really want to thank everybody for participating in that and certainly everyone here uh, at Allendale as well that has uh, that has put their time and effort into this uh, into this as well so big event for us and it was a very big success so thank you guys out there uh, but if there's anything that we can be doing for you over here please give us a call you can reach us at 800 Two six two seven five three eight, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care.